For nearly four decades, our next guest has trained the biggest stars of Broadway and Hollywood to sit, bark, and play dead. And that's because his celebrity clients are all animal actors. Here to discuss his story career and how he trains our four-legged friends is animal, animal behaviorist, author, and Tony Award winner Bill Berloni. Hello Hi, there. Hi, guys. They are so cute. You have to tell us who do we have here. Who what are their are we names? Talking to? Well, this is our Broadway star. This is Trixie. She's currently starring cute. in Woody Allen's Bullets Over Broadway. Broadway, on Broadway, and this is her understudy Minnie. Oh. So we've got uh, both the actors here today. All right. Now, first of all, how many different animal animals do you train, and what do you teach them to do? Um, I train. I don't train wild animals. I don't believe wild animals mm. should be used in entertainment. So okay. anything you could find on a farm in a pet shop, you know, uh, cats, dogs, birds, insects, horses, farm animals. So just about anything. Just about anything except wild animals. Yep. Wow. Well, how did you get into this business originally? You just say, oh, I think I can train some animals. <laughs> I, well, no, I, I grew up on a farm uh -huh. uh, and had dogs growing up, but I wanted, I, when I graduated high school, I wanted to be an actor. Mm. So I started apprenticing at a theater in Connecticut called the Goodspeed Opera House, and they, they were doing this new play that had a dog in it, and they couldn't afford a dog trainer, and they couldn't get anybody on staff to do it, so they needed a sucker. So the producer <laughs> offered me a part in the show if I would find and train a dog for free. Oh. Went to the pound, paid $7 for a dog, and that was the original production of Annie, and I trained the original Sandy when I was 19 years no old. No way. Well, now, how difficult was that to train a dog with no experience? Yeah. Well, it's, again, I grew up on a farm and animals were my friends, right. and so I just thought... If they're happy, they'll do whatever you want because, you know, uh, they will follow you around if they love you. They'll stay with you if they're happy. And I just translated it to the stage. So what it is is a, a method of positive reinforcement, respecting the animals, keeping them happy, and that's why they perform. But were you one of those kids that tried to get your animals to do tricks already? So you kind of had some experience with You know, I was always trying to get my dog never listen. My dog but, wouldn't do anything but <laughs> eat and go to the bathroom. Yeah. Right. I mean, <laughs> kind of. Um, because I was an only child, I didn't see kids except when I went to school. Mm -hmm. So when I was home, especially before kindergarten, I just played with my dog and my cat and my rabbit. So I, I, I must have done a lot of things mm -hmm. with them and learned how to read them so that I could play with them. Wow, and over the years, what are some of the productions that your animals have been in? Goodness, well... Everything. The, the, well, <laughs> no, the interesting thing is Annie was the first show that ever had a dog on stage as a live character. Because wow. prior to that, really? no one... People thought you can't depend on a dog to do the mm -hmm. same thing eight nights a week on Broadway, and I sort of proved them wrong. So since then, I've done 24 Broadway shows, shows like Annie, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, Legally Blonde, um, The Wizard of Oz, um, those sort of shows. Um, but, you know, like I just did the new Annie movie, which is coming out in December with Quivenjanae Wallace and Jamie right, Foxx. Right. Um, I just wrapped the series The Leftovers with HBO. Um, we, had, we have attack dogs in that. Mm -hmm. You know, and so I do more New York stuff, so a lot of the stuff out here, commercials and... What was that moment like for you? Was it a full soaker moment coming from the original Annie to now doing the, you know, the movie Annie? Well, what they did was they updated it. It takes mm -hmm. place in 2014. And we were shooting the scene where Annie meets Sandy in Harlem. And we were on 116th in Lexington. And I remember we set up the shot, and she started singing. And there were hundreds of people around us. And I looked around, and people were singing. And, and mm -hmm. for that show that I worked on to become part of our social consciousness, and for everybody to be part of, in 2014, I started to cry. Aww. You know. So it, was, it, it really is sort of my, the thing that started my career. But it's still a great show, and I think the movie's going to be fantastic. Well, I can't wait till it comes out. I yeah. know. Now, in 2011, you received a Tony for Excellence in the theater. How rewarding was that for you to have your years of work finally be viol validated at the highest well, courts of theater? Well, that's the thing. The, the funny thing about Tony Awards is you can't win one unless you belong to a union. And there's no <laughs> union for animal handlers. Oh, right. So <laughs> even though I had done all these Broadway shows, I, I sort of resigned myself to, well, this is my art and this is fine. And so mm -hmm. for them to create that for me, I guess if you stick around long enough... They, they, <laughs> no, you have to be very good. Well, well, yeah, and are there other people like you on Broadway? Are you the mm -hmm. only one? Uh, Still? You know, yeah, I mean, I've pretty much uh, held that role. And, mm -hmm. and believe me, as my fee has gotten higher, they've tried to hire other <laughs> trainers. <laughs> and and they've been work. unsuccessful. Yeah. Well, how well, often does it go wrong? Because um, they can't I, always go right. I, I, was, I was telling somebody... The animal actors make less mistake than the human actors. Oh, <laughs> really? Okay. Well, because they go, you know, they know what to do. They want their treat. Mm -hmm. They don't come in having a fight with their spouse or hungover <laughs> or <laughs> distracted. Um, but there's, we always build in contingencies because it is live theater. I mean, mm -hmm. I remember a performance of Legally Blonde where there were people in the front row eating fried chicken. 
uh -oh. literally eating in the front row. And I wondered why my <laughs> chihuahua was looking over the edge of the stage, but the actors knew what to do, how to keep uh -huh. it, how to keep it moving. That's funny. Well, and go ahead, I, I was gonna say. Well, now we've got these precious little puppies right here. Can you show us? Can they do some? I some certainly stuffing? can. And um, you know, because the other thing you guys should know. Um, is that all the animals I've ever trained have come from animal shelters. Oh, wow. Why is that so important to you? Well, th when I found the first Sandy, I'd never been to an animal shelter, and I was so moved by the plight of animals that I just sort of made a promise to myself. I would, if I, when I grew up, if I got a dog, I would use shelter animals, not knowing this would be my career. But, I mean, again, you look at this beautiful Pomeranian, mm -hmm. you know, and people think that I'm a great trainer. And, and the bottom line is, no, they're great dogs. Mm -hmm. You could have adopted this dog six months ago before I did, and this is what you would do in your home. And that's what I want people to understand. Just because you're in a shelter, it's not because you're bad, you know, mm -hmm. and that they deserve good homes. And if it helps fight the stigma right. that people think that they can't learn, they're right. not smart dogs. So, and I'm also the director of animal behavior for the Humane Society of New York here in New York City. So I'm always, I want to show people the positive way to train dogs. Mm -hmm. All know, right, well, and show us pets. the positive so, way to train them. Yeah. All right. Because they're so small, we have a little table here, so I don't have to bend down as far. Okay. Okay. You know, every. Should I put them? Put the other one there. No, you could hold her. I'll hold you. Ow. All right. Um, I don't have any treats with me, but uh -oh. what you would do is you would take a treat. She's and looking. Like, where's the treat? <gasps> And, you know, if I were to say something to you in a foreign language, you wouldn't understand what it meant. I would have to show you what it is. So you use the food as a motivator. So if you want them to, to lie down, you go down, good girl, and they'll follow the food. Meaning oh. up, good girl, oh. good girl. And you always have to praise them. Either you give them mm -hmm. food or praise. So, you know, we... I think every, she wants the food. She does. Now, yeah. <laughs> if if, if you, tell, you tell them to stay and you hold uh -huh. the leash in place, you know, until you move away. Minnie, sit. Many stay, and so they can't. If they move, you keep them in, and then you come in and reward them. But you always use the food as a motivator to show them what to do. So, like on stage, we cover their eyes as a cue, so the audience is unaware that we've told them to stay. Mm -hmm. And you know, I could walk away, the actress can walk away, and she won't move. Um, things like speak, speak, big one, speak, good girl, oh, speak. Up. Good girl, good girl, Aww. good girl. Now, how long did it take you to train her? Um, this is actually my daughter's dog, and mm -hmm. so, she, like father, like uh, daughter, it <laughs> took her about six months to train her, and um, when she needed an understudy, she was ready to go. Oh, Who's wow. Who's for? So, do you want to do some tricks for us, too? Do you want to come down? Now, oh, the, she's the star. Do any, are she's any the star. of the dogs just carry dogs? Like, oh, they don't do anything, they just well, if you look are behind carried us, in your arms. There's <laughs> Trixie, and oh, she was oh, hired oh. Uh -huh. to be carried. Uh -huh. And she's, she's one of ready. the dogs that will do nothing except sit in your arms. Okay. Can I hold her? Yes, I want to see if I can make okay. her do a trick. Make her do, you can do yeah. it, Shannon. Oh. Oh. Look at you. Okay. You got to come in front of her. Okay. She, there you okay. go. Oh. Minnie, oh. Okay. Right. Hey, look, I got a treat. I got a treat. Oh. Right here. Yeah, oh. I have no treat. Okay, how about Minnie lay down? Yeah. Lay down. There you go. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. Good girl. Okay, big bark. Roof, speak. Speak. You got to hold, she looks at your face. Speak. 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 Oh, not me. Give me a kiss. Then. Come give over here. Kiss. Oh, I'm Shannon's sorry. trying. Shannon needs help. I know. I'm not yeah. a good dog trainer, That's okay. I guess. I don't have treats. I'm sorry. Sit. Speak. 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 <laughs> woof, woof. <laughs> All right. Yeah. High five. High five. Yeah. What you just witnessed was <laughs> movie magic because we're <laughs> a movie set. <laughs> Shannon would be the actor. I would uh, be behind him giving him the signal. So. Oh, okay. Minnie. Speak. Speak. Oh. Speak. 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 Perfect. Oh, and that's how we do it in the movies. <laughs> and we wouldn't know. Okay. Yep, because it looks like they do. Yeah, yeah. I gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. So have a but on stage, these are the official Arise 360 Entertainment. <laughs> there you go. Mascot. There okay. you go. But on stage, the actors actually are the trainers, um, and because they, you know, I can't be in the wings to to give them commands. Oh. Awesome. So. All right, we'll keep working on my training skills. Yes. <laughs> and thank you so much for my coming pleasure. in. My pleasure. And we'll see you guys on Broadway. Please. You're watching Arise Entertainment 360. <laughs>